In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the top four raw resources you can farm in order to make a lot of gold in New World. Now, as we all know, it is, you know, kind of difficult to make gold nowadays in New World just because of the drop in overall pricing when it comes to crafting. However, there is still some fun, relaxing ways to make some easy gold. And I'm primarily talking about just some quick, relaxing farming of raw resources. Now, what I did just to kind of highlight the most important ones to actually focus on is that I jumped over on the trading post and took a look specifically at only the raw resources, which are right here. There we go. Um, and I really looked at which ones would be the most expensive for me to buy which basically tells me you know, which ones are most valuable, which ones I should focus on in regards to making gold when I start farming. And the top four I actually found, at least on my server, which is Marama, is Ironwood at the top. Then we've got Lodestone right here, which is at 0.64 each. We've got Dark Hide, and this one is not as expensive However, it is extremely easy to get, so I think this is definitely worth kind of adding to the overall list just because you can get lots of it extremely fast and flip it pretty easily for about you know, 0 0.38, 0 0.4, depending on where you are. Um, and then last but not least, we've got good old-fashioned Auricalcum Ore, which on Marama is currently at 0.49 probably on the bottom of this list of the top four. However, it's definitely worth calling out. So the next portion of my video, I'm gonna be calling out the best locations to farm these top four resources to really just make sure that you're maximizing the overall time you're spending on gathering up these expensive resources. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started with Ironwood. Before I share all my secrets though, I do want to recommend that you guys please like and subscribe this video. I share lots and lots of New World videos, whether it's farming, making gold, PvP builds, PvE builds, and everything in between. So if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe. And enough of that, let's just go ahead and just jump right in. The first topic that I want to really cover is the overall location on where to farm ironwood trees. And personally, I'm a big fan of going right over in Eden, um, Eden Grove right here. You can go to this Firmerel Shrine, go a bit north, and then just circle through, and you'll be able to see a large handful of ironwood trees. I can see that there's one already over there. Don't forget to use your consumables, or even to, in certain cases, you can use... Um, pieces of equipment to make sure that you're maximizing your overall output when you're doing this. But again, it's just a quick, relaxing way to kind of make some quick gold. Next up is Lodestone, and this one is somewhat well known. You can see that this guy's already following me a little bit here. But um, if you open your map, you'll see that I am in Weaver's Fen, just north of Polder Shrine. And you can do a, a quick circle where there is a large amount of lodestone. You can see that I'm already grabbing another one right here. But essentially, you're going to start right off around this small circle here. You're going to go north and just follow this direction. And you're going to be picking up a, a large amount of lodestone. And honestly, it's probably the number one farm in my eyes when it comes to lodestone. I know that some people may think otherwise, but... Honestly, I'm mean, gonna like look at this. This is three more nodes. Not a ton of people realize it. I think this guy just watched my patterns recently from recording this, so that's why he uh, he kind of jumped up. But again, if you guys are looking for a quick buck, then I highly recommend that you go ahead and start grinding it out for lodestone here. Next up is Oracalcamor. You can see already on my screen how many pieces I see here. And if I show you on the map, I am in the lower right corner of Reekwater. I start right over here and I just go straight down. This is probably the most amount of Ori veins all in one location. There are multiple other areas that you can go to to craft this up. I just figured that this is the most condensed area and I just love kind of crafting this. I mean, uh, mining this really quick 
right before OPRs. Um, I'll mine this entire line of Orior. I'll join the OPR, and by the time I get out, I'm ready to go and just start mining them all over again, and I just rinse and repeat. Again, that is in the lower right corner of Reekwater, and probably the best spot to go when it comes to farming this type of material. Last but not least, one of my favorite areas to go when it comes to farming dark hide is the Elysian Wilds area, more specifically in this top right area. Now, honestly, anywhere on this map is a good source of dark hide if you just want to go exploring, but if you do want a little bit more of a condensed area, I like to specifically go over here to take down some of these uh, alligators right here. So what I typically do is hit a handful of them, bring them all over to me, and go crazy, honestly. I do recommend using a spear when taking these down. It just makes it so much easier, and that covers it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe because I've got a lot more New World content coming soon. Thanks again, and I'll catch you guys later.